My name is Grace Becker, and I own probably the smallest commercial licensed facility kitchen on the face of the planet. You see, a long time ago, I really decided that I wanted to be a stay-at-home mom, and I was very passionate about doing that. But we have a large family, and as our family grew, we just needed more money, and I didn't want to go get a job. And as I started to look at things that I was good at, baking just was the top of the list. It was something I had been doing for many, many years, and people were always asking me to bake for them. And so I wanted to put a commercial kitchen in our home. And it was tough, and there were roadblocks all the way along the way. The health department initially said absolutely not. They would not let us do that. And, you know, there, where there's a will, there's a way. And we got their list of requirements and worked from there. So I'm going to give you a little tour of my teeny tiny commercial kitchen that gets the job done. And let me tell you, for a short period of time, we did a build out. We owned a coffee shop with a large commercial kitchen. It was hugely expensive. It put us in a lot of debt and it defeated my purpose of being a stay-at-home mom. And so we came back and just made this kitchen a little bigger. And you're going to see, it's going to be hard for me to give you the perspective because my kitchen is so tiny. But I could do everything that I needed to do. I didn't have overhead. I didn't have rent. I didn't have any of those things that you have if you have a facility that you're renting from somewhere else. And if you want to be doing catering or wedding cake baking or any of those kinds of things and you can do it in your home and you could and you have a space where you could do a commercial kitchen, I hope this will inspire you and help you because it is possible you're going to see we did it. This is starting at one corner of our little tiny room and I'm just going to go all the way around and I'm going to show you the different aspects of the kitchen. i got to tell you, it's really hard for me here because getting the perspective and getting everything in here, it, because the room is so small, this is our oven and our pan rack. This is probably the best view of the kitchen from the outside looking in. You can see we have the Hobart 30 quart mixer and a 15 quart mixer on a stainless steel table. We have our three compartment sink in the back and then we have storage up above the sink. We have our refrigerator, our outside commercial door that had to be big enough to bring the equipment in. You can see the shelves above the stainless steel table gave us the storage we needed. And then underneath we have the bins for the flour and the sugar and all of that kind of stuff. Way back in the corner, it's hard to see, let me see if I can get there, is the grease trap. There again is the, the baker's commercial sink. There's a shot of our license. What I'm showing you here is the second addition that we did for our kitchen. And we simply took more space. We brought our, we, you know, we put some tables out here. There's a commercial refrigerator in the back. And we have a, a chest freezer over here. And what I want to tell you is that for this part of it, we use this mainly to do assembly for our gift baskets after we had baked and wrapped things. They came out here and we were able to, uh, this gave us the space we needed to work to assemble baskets and wrap them. And it also served as um, a lot of additional storage space. This is just a quick uh, shot of the refrigerator. That's it. That's the quick and easy tour of my little tiny kitchen. But it's been fabulous and I've been able to do this for t over 10 years now. If you'd like to know exactly how we did it, I put together an ebook where we, I walk you through the entire process. How we negotiated with the health department, the whole story, and give you the whole nine yards. So you can check that out at our website which is called doughraisingmom.com and that's D-O-U-G-H R-A-I-S-I-N-G-M-O-M dot com. It's all there. I really hope it'll be helpful for you because this has been a huge blessing in my In closing, I just want to tell you that if you have any questions, I am more than happy to answer whatever I can. I want to help you get started. 
on a really fun career where you have everything you need and you can still work at home. So go to my website, there's a contact form there. You can contact me and I'll see if I can help you in any way I can.